I am not against progress at all. Um, progress needs to happen. Uh, what didn't happen was no communication. A road construction project that was supposed to be finished by this month could drag into the spring. And as you could imagine, it is frustrating officials and some business owners. Bob Jones met a barber who says those delays are cutting down on his work. Nine years ago, Dan Dakuliak left his job as an assistant high school principal to chase his dream. Went to barber college and bought a barber shop. He's owned this shop on Route 800 in Canton Township for two years. You like to think that they come out not only with a good haircut, but they feel good about themselves. But in recent weeks, Dan says those stopping by for a trim down almost 70 percent. Frustration level is, is through the roof. The problem sits outside the barber's window. A four block road widening project that was supposed to wrap up this month now has a target completion date next spring. 32nd Street, which leads to the shop, is often closed, and Dan feels a spray painted barber open sign only blends in with the construction site. I know that there are very professional signs out there that could be put up to, to let people know, hey, business is open as usual. Dan says he's not against progress or Route 800 being widened, but when heavy equipment sits right in front of his open sign and his driveway is blocked, that's frustrating. No one can visibly see that there's a barbershop here. Dan blames ODOT for not communicating delays in scheduling that have caught him off guard. I have not been given any timeline whatsoever. A frustration shared by township trustee Chris Nichols. Even our road department wasn't familiar with when were they going to start, what were they going to do, how long was it going to take, that communication, because again, we're the ones that get the first phone calls. ODOT spokesman Justin Chesnick says the problem is when crews started digging, they found fiber optic lines higher than expected. A lot of times with these fiber optic lines, they do move. Uh, you know, they elevate up and down as they're intertwining. Those lines need to be moved to make room for storm drains, a process taking a few weeks. We take its concerns, you know, serious, obviously. You know, we feel we do a good job communicating, but in times like this, you know, sometimes things fall through the cracks and, you know, we'll be out of here as, as quickly as we can be. ODOT says 32nd Street may fully reopen by the end of this week, which could bring Dan some relief. In the meantime, the barber feels forced to improvise. And so I've made some house calls. I've been to nursing homes to make up for the business. You got to be creative. In Canton Township, Bob Jones, News 5.